This is gonna be my DIY camera case. I'll show you guys what I got planned. I've actually been looking at camera cases for a while. I looked at some of the Pelican cases. Those are a few hundred dollars. I even looked at an Amazon Basics case and that was around $130 for just a small case. So when I saw this thing, I was walking through Home Depot the other day and this whole setup is 98 bucks. Comes with three modular cases, has a these big wheels on a on a rolling base. And then I also picked up they call it a pick and pluck foam. So you just pick out these squares and you can customize it to whatever you want. So I paid about 20 bucks for this. They're each two inches thick. And I also picked up some basic egg crate. And these are inch and a half and this was 15 bucks. So all in, I'm 130 bucks for this rolling camera studio basically. So let me show you this first section. It all hooks together and it also has a, this metal piece that slides through so you can lock them all together as well as you can lock, uh, put a lock on here. I was thinking about getting a cable lock or something like that. Um, let me know if you guys have ideas. So this first section I was going to use for the smaller stuff like um, cables, um, battery chargers, um, I have my GoPro in here, I have my Gorillapod. So I'll show you there. And these can come out if you want to take them out. So this, the construction of this is really nice. I mean, it's made for uh, construction tools on a job site. So it's high impact resin, comes with a lifetime warranty. Also has this uh, water and dust seal. So you won't get any crap in there, which is nice. So this can detach and you can just take this as it is if you wanted. And so this middle section is what I'm going to use for the actual camera case for my camera body, the lenses, the batteries, the chargers, stuff like that. So it has this tray as well and you got it. So it's a good deep, deep case. Let me see what it is. It's about nine and a half inches deep. So I figured I would put one layer of inch and a half egg crate on the very bottom. And then take these, so that will fit. The width is perfect. I just got to cut off a little bit here put that down um, for the middle section and then again take the other piece of the inch and a half egg crate and put it on the top. So then I would have plenty of protection for my camera, the lenses and all that. And then on the bottom is this big section. And again, has the wheels, the big wheels, and the carrying handle. So you can roll it around, easy to move. But on the bottom, there's even more space than this guy. So I'll show you that. My plans for the bottom were like a, um, extension cord, I could put my uh, camera stabilizer, uh, 
I also got the new DJI Mavic Air and this case has everything in it. The drum, the remote, the batteries, the charger. So all this can fit in there and I still have tons of room. So I essentially have a rolling studio. I can even fit my uh, LED lights in here. So this works out perfect. So let me know what you guys think. Um, did I make a good purchase? Let me know down in the comments. This whole thing, 130 bucks for the cases and the foam. So now I'm gonna cut up this foam, get it all in here and start plucking these uh, squares out for my camera and I will show you guys once that's done. So I have all the foam installed in my DIY camera case. On the bottom there, I have inch and a half egg crate on the very bottom, followed by two pieces of pick and pluck. They're two inches thick each. They're for the middle section. And the uh, pick and pluck stuff was really easy. You just pick them out. They look like this. It's these guys. So those were really easy to uh, custom fit it to cameras and lenses and chargers. And then I have inch and a half egg crate for the lid as well. So there's still plenty of clearance in here. I have just a loose lens. This is the tray that came with it and it still doesn't hit the camera body or lenses or anything like that. So I'll show you inside. Uh, this I haven't attached yet. I'm not sure if I want to glue it or velcro it or what Let me know if you guys have suggestions put them down in the comments But for right now, this is what I got. I got my Canon camera body the battery charger and a 50 millimeter lens so I still have plenty of space to put you know my my other lenses maybe another camera body so tons of room to put basically whatever I want in it. That completes my DIY camera case. I got that top section for little stuff. Has the removable little buckets, knickknack stuff that can fit in the top there. Quick, easy access. This detaches from all the rest. Got the middle section where I bought some pieces of egg crate and pick and pluck foam and made my own custom layout for my camera body, the lenses, battery charger, stuff like that. And then I have the large bottom section where I put the bigger stuff like gimbals and uh, extension cords, stuff like that. It's all on a rolling chassis. So it's basically a rolling camera studio. I mean, you could use this for anything. You could use it for bike stuff or drone stuff. I chose to make my own camera case. Hope this inspired you guys. I hope you got some uh, ideas out of this. If you got some value, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my videos get shown to other people that are possibly looking for DIY stuff. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of videos like this and uh, there'll be more in the future. Thanks for checking it out, guys.